I will praise you, Lord, among the nations. I will tell of your name to my kin. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Brothers and sisters, again, we come together to pray that the Lord will guide and direct our lives and take care of the sick, and that the Lord's protection will be on all his people. And as we begin to celebrate this Eucharist, let us acknowledge our sins. O oh, Jesus, you raise the dead to life in the spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. O oh, Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. O oh, Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. As we recall year by year the mysteries by which through the restoration of its original dignity, human nature has received the hope of rising again. We earnestly beseech your mercy, Lord, that what we celebrate in faith we may possess an unending love. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The high priest rose up and all his companions, that is, the party of the Sadducees, and filled with jealousy, laid hands upon the apostles and put them in the public jail. But during the night, the angel Lord opened the doors of the prison, led them out and said, Go and take your place in the temple area and tell the people everything about this life. When they heard this, they went to the temple early in the morning and taught. When the high priest and his companions arrived, they convened the Sanhedrin, the full standard of the children of Israel, and sent to the jail to have them brought in. But the court officers who went did not find them in the prison, so they came back and reported, we found the jail securely locked and the guards stationed outside the doors. But when we opened them, we found no one inside. When the captain of the temple guard and the chief heard this report, they were at a loss about them as to what this would come to. Then someone came and reported to them, the men whom you put in prison are in the temple area and are teaching the people. Then the captain and the court officers went and brought them, but without force, because they were afraid of being stoned by the people. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The psalm refrain, the Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and delivered me from all my fears. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard and from all his distress, he saved him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor.
The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned. But whoever does not believe has already been condemned because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the verdict, that the light came into the world, but people prefer darkness to light because their works were evil. For everyone who does wicked things hates the light and does not come toward the light so that his works might not be exposed. But whoever lives the truth comes to the light, so that his works may be clearly seen as done in God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We've seen the Acts of the Apostles today, how um, the Apostles were out speaking about Jesus Christ and the Sadducees and the leaders put him in prison, put him in a common jail. And then during the night, uh, the angel came and got him out of the jail and they were told to go out to preach again. So in a sense, uh, what happened was the angel fetched the apostles out of jail. But the prayer of the people fetched the angel. It was the whole sense of prayer behind the scenes that led to the freedom of the apostles. And I think we can look at that in, in this very day, that the prayers that we send forth are powerful. The prayers that we give, that we send to the Lord, are helping those who have to make tough decisions in a state or in the in federal government, it's also for a prayer for those who are in the front lines. So even though we may not be in the front lines, most of us, the prayers that we send forth are helping those who are in the front line. It's like the, the, uh, the Carmelites or people who are uh, praying behind the scenes. Their prayer has a, a lot of influence in the world every day. And so as we are in this pandemic and for us to realize that our prayers that we send forth to God every day are what's going to help those who have to make those tough decisions and those who are ministering to the sick. So even though we may not be in there, we know that the prayers that we send forth are powerful and that, that our prayer is really important for the good of all. Heavenly Father, we gather here as your children, ask you to listen to our needs. For each one of us, that we may realize the prayers that we send forth have power to help others. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That as the angel came to free the apostles, may the prayers that we send forth be able to free those bound by the illness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Holy Spirit will guide all that we do every day. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are sick by the virus and any other illnesses, that the Lord will be with them to sh shower his graces and healing upon them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our prayers may have great influence in touching the hearts of others and helping them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, that they may already share eternal glory, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, you know the needs we have. We ask that you grant all of them. We ask it through Christ our Lord. Amen.
blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, who did the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, for to the vine and work of human hands that will become our spiritual drink. Let's be God forever. sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands, to the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice, have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, when we pray that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but at this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, by the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross. And by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice, therefore overcome with paschal joy, Every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give light to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather our people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many with the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The 
the mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim, by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with this Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Columba, with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, Robert, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you gain for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you've summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to have their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, for whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, the old hymn who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
now invite you to make your spiritual communion my jesus i believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament i love you above all things and i desire to receive you into my soul since i cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart i embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you never permit me to be separated from you amen I have chosen you from the world, says the Lord, and I have appointed you to go forth and bear fruit, fruit that will last forever. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. And hope everyone's doing fine as we continue to pray, knowing that our prayers have an effect. So let's keep it up and may the Lord continue to guide and direct our lives and protect all his people. The Lord be with you and with your spirit and may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down upon you, remain with you forever. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Please God.